Okay, we're looking at the level 1 2021 exam from past year. The title of the song is Aotearoa. Right from the beginning, we've got analyzing structure, which means, as we will see, how the music is organized. This is what we call a verse chorus form verse chorus structure um, and is a typical model or a template for a pop song okay bar one we start with a repeat sign we're in the time signature 4-4 four, four, and one sharp in the key signature which means it's G major or E minor we'll figure it that out at the end of bar 4 we have a double bar line which marks the end of a section so we start from bar, uh, the verse 1 we go through and when we get to the end of that double bar line we go to bar 13 and this is a first time repeat sign so we repeat the end of that section so we'll see a repeat sign at the end of bar 16 we just keep going like this and we see a repeat sign now it, we have to go back to the first time repeat sign we saw in bar 1 so that's where we're going to go so back to the chorus Okay, as we approach the first time by repeat, we skip this part altogether, this one, I'm putting a big X on there, the blue X, I'm going to jump straight into the second time repeat in bar 17. So once you go to the repeat, you go back to the beginning of the repeat and then we jump this section all together now from bar 17 this is called a second time repeat we'll go from there and we'll just keep going until we get to bar 24 where we see a double bar line Now this section from bar 17 until bar 24, um, we would call this a bridge. So I'm just marking the end of the section, the end of bar 24, because it's the new material. We haven't seen this before. Um, this section we have a hihoa atua ona iwi ma tora. Um, this is the, the national anthem. So Stan Walker from Bar. Yeah, so that's uh, so after that double bar line we have um, the chorus. Now how do we know that's the chorus? You have to have a look at the rhythm, which is the pattern. Um, yep, same rhythm as the chorus, same melody. So what we have to do when you're looking at the score, you have to look at the melodic shape, or what we call the contour. So you don't necessarily have to write down the note names, such as A, B, C, D, E, and so on. You just have to have a look at um, how these notes are similar, whether they're the same or different. Okay, now we'll go to... the writing shortly so we are having a look at how we've analyzed the beginning so in green 
I'm putting in where our introduction is. Now, it says here intro bar 1 to 4, but the introduction is a chorus. The song starts with um, the same material as the chorus. Now, how do we know that's an introduction? Well, it starts at the beginning of the piece. Um, but the chorus is what we call um, a hook. Now, a hook in any pop song is a uh, most repeated part. It's the most um, recognizable part of the song, it's sometimes known as an earworm. I'm going to write here, the chorus serves as an intro, as, as it is the beginning of the song. Very obvious, isn't it? And I might just write, this part is the most recognized, well, I'm going to write, repeated, or frequently frequent section. And I'll also write as this serves as the hook. We had one, two, three, four, four chords, right? It's a four chord song. C, G, D, E minor. I'm going to write that down because we're in the key of C. Chord one, five. No, actually, we're not in the key of C. We're in the key of G, yeah, one sharp, so G, chord C is 4, and D is 5, and 6 is E minor. Remember in NCA level 1, we only deal with 4 chords, 1, 4, 5, and 6. Now next section, bars 5 to 12, we have verse 1. How do we know it's a verse 1? Well. Um, if you have a look at the score, we see the number one. There are two lines. Verse part, you know, verse one is on the top part of verse one, and second line is verse two. So right here, Mark, there's number one in the score. Verse part has two lines. First verse is on the top. The second verse is at the bottom. Here's something else that's quite obvious that sets verse apart from a chorus. It's the difference in the melody and the rhythm. The words are different. Now, next section from bar 13 to 16 is what we call a pre-chorus. Pre means before. Um, so it occurs before the chorus. If you have a look at the, um, the chord progression, the order of the pro chord is different to the chorus. It sets up the chorus. That's the... Um, main function. So let's have a look at bar 13. That's where the first time repeat bar is. Um, it's a bit messy over there. But um, so we've got the uh, chord progression of A, A minor, G, D, G, E minor, D, which is a different um, chord progression. Oh yes, 
that's what we can say as well. Um, the, the, the order of the chords are different. So what am I going to say here? If you have nothing to say, you can just say it's marked between the two double bar lines and the repeat sign. Remember that the dub double bar line indicates where different sections start and finish. For pre chorus, we have a repeat sign which acts as the boundary marker. Now we go back to bar 1, remember the arrow that we looked at? Okay, and then we go and we skip all of that, Just so I'm going to mark here pre-chorus, bars 13 to 16, so go back to the beginning, go to the beginning of the repeat sign, and we So that's the chorus again. So the next section in the box, we have to put chorus. Bars 1 to 4 again. We have to put down the reason for going back to that chorus, and um, it is because of the the repeat sign. I'm going to have to state the bar numbers here. So the repeat sign at the end of bar 16, it's the end of the first time bar, it says we have to go back to bar 1, which has the start of the repeat sign. So the reason for putting chorus as the section that comes after the pre-chorus, well, it's obvious because pre-chorus sets up the chorus, but um, it is because of that end of bar 16, we have to go back to bar 1. Again, this um, section ends at bar 4 because of the double bar line. So, we're now in the second time. Now, when we get to bar 5, we now have verse 2. He korero, and it goes until we get to bar 12. So, next section is from bar, f um, bar 5 to bar 12. So, I'm going to write Next section is verse 2. I'll use the green pen. So bar number is from bar 5 to bar 12. Okay, so we jump at the end of that bar 12. Um, remember, we skip the pre chorus. We go to the second time repeat. Now I'm going to write here. First two starts in bar 5. That's the start of the double bar line. If you can write that in if you want to. And it ends in bar 12. marked by the double bar line. Okay, what we also need to put is we skip ahead. So at the end of bar 12, 
is we s we jump the first time repeat and we skip ahead to bar 17 remember um, that part is the pre-chorus so this first time repeat is not the whole entire section is not performed and we go directly to the second time repeat which is from bar 17 let's check bar 17 and at the end of uh, bar 24 so here's the illustration bar 17 to bar 24 whole section in blue and we're going to label this as the bridge remember we talked about this it's the new material new chord progression as well G D E minus C so you can say a lot of things about this section now bridge in pop music provides contrast so you could have a key change so if you're in a minor key um, it often is in a major key and vice versa if you have a major um, if you have a song in a major key which is bright and happy the bridge might be in a minor key so it's the new material after the first bar first time repeat we skip to the second time repeat wherefore we end up from bar 17 might just add this section is also marked by a double bar line but what I would do is to actually talk about the function of the bridge when you are providing evidence bar line or bar numbers is crucial don't just assume the marker will know what you're talking about always refer to bar numbers okay the final section is from bar 25 to 28 which is the end and we already have chorus marked there for us double bar line with a solid line is the end now same as bar 1 to 4 I assume now I want you to compare the rhythm of and the melody of bars 25 to 28 with bars 1 to 4 4 bars long so the rhythm and the chords and the melody in bars 1 to 4 they're exactly the same or identical the Okay, here's the illustration of the the ending. We call that a double bar line, but it sort of has a different look to it, doesn't it? We have a more solid second line. Okay, that's the end of the section, and um, okay, I'll just highlight where the choruses it's if you have a look at it it's virtually the same and here's what we've written okay so I shall see you in the next section